Hello guys, welcome to Jink TRD Target Reference Design Implementation on Jeopardy FG So, we have our TRD here, this uh, SD card So, we have included the necessary boot file and image files in this SD card And we have here USB OTG for connecting our mouse uh, like keyboards and here is our power adapter and we have SDMI so what happens here is our target reference design target for Jink which is implemented currently on board is here which actually accelerates software as well as hardware acceleration module in this Jink 7000 FPG so we can get the results in acceleration of software and acceleration of hardware format so we can see that in display or display so we have connected 1080 pixel hdmi display here so let's see the display so this is our display so here we have uh explanation of zinc trd zinc based trd and we can enable our disable video so currently we are at uh, test pattern generator mode so if we have external sdmi uh, input source in fmc card then we can click this external video source option but we currently have we currently don't have sdmi output so input source we have selected this dpg uh, test pattern generator which is actually IP from Xilinx so we are currently a shovel mode we can even select this shovel mode is currently off so we can enable the shovel mode with software acceleration mode or hardware acceleration mode and we can even invert the sensitivity and we have performance of our processors in Jink 7000 FPG so we have two ARM Cortex A9 processor in Jink 7000 so CPU 0 and CPU 1 is showing their performance and we can even have help section here and we can minimize this option and we can exit this TRD example design from the application currently running in processor so this is the main target reference design actually this is taken from logic big also called as Xylon example design so we haven't have created anything this is actually the demonstration only of logic brick jing based trd 14.4 version in jailboard fpg so if we if we change our shovel mode to software actually we are currently in uh, direct mode so we don't have any shovel option enabled currently so let's enable it on software mode so this is the shovel more enable in software mode actually our display is not changes more ever because we don't have the current live sdmi input source in fmc daughter card so we don't have fmc imagine daughter card from avinet so we just have tested this thing trd with internal source that is test pattern generator source so currently our software part is running so our processor must be at heavy duty so they, they must be have lots of box and if we select this so we'll more in hardware part it will uh, release some workload or it will release the main so well implementation workload to hardware so we can see in the block diagram so while we select the software illustration so software so well favorably implemented and when we click on hardware alteration so this hardware alterator will be implemented actually hardware part is designed in high level synthesis that is c c plus plus open cv and software part is designed in top layer c language that is a software application so this is the overall block diagram of our system so here we have internal video pattern so currently we have only test pattern generator so this is the module ip and here is we have we have ddr memory and currently we are in hardware swell implementation mode 
and we have another part is display controller actually this display controller since our output of this process process uh, pattern to sgmi port so we have connected our output through sgmi to 1080 pixel this display so we can also get the output in 720 pixel display but we have current 1080 pixel target for zinc this trd so we get the output but this is the logical implementation only for getting the real output we need to have fmc daughter card from abnet that is fmc imagine daughter card and we need to click this external source actually we don't have any external inputs currently so first of all we need to connect uh sdmi input source from that fmc daughter card our only one sdmi port in your board is used for output to the display so we can't use that port so we need we need to have FMC to our regard for taking input from HDMI sources like camera or anything else or even we can also use uh, like a different separate camera like CMOS camera for that FMC to regard so you can also get those information in other uh, YouTube videos so so guys uh, thanks for watching we will show you a little bit more in detail about so well edge detection with Jink FPG and can use detection with Jink FPG. So guys, thanks for watching.